Yeah, that's how I'm going to start out the voiceover. Uh, Borderland, second to last voiceover main quest video for my channel, Dark Tom Productions, and kind of partnered with Next Gen Walkthroughs, who I still think hates me, but I cannot blame them. Because I have my moments. Anyway. In this area, I got quite lucky. There was a bunch of idiots uh, all in close proximity. So I threw about three grenades on them, and they decided to kill each other. Or pretty much kill each other. Ooh. Okay, so badass engineer with a riot shield. They, they really like those shields, and I actually wish I could get one of those, because those are pretty uh, badass shoulder pads that neutralize damage. Okay, so really quick thing. This is where I got my badass alien shotgun. Um, it's it's right up there on that cliff and you can kind of see where it is on the mini-map and I went up there and I got a sweet alien shotgun and I think that that chest will always give you an alien gun um, they put a ton of guys to guard it but trust me it is worth it and that alien shotgun is far superior to any gun that I have um, any gun at all it's it is such a baller gun and you can actually see it in action in my side quest video after I beat the game I did some some last few side quests that I had not completed there was uh, the claptrap rescue in uh, salt flats I think you can watch it there but uh, it's and I actually didn't realize how good it was until after I beat the game and I looked at it because I was, you know, kind of dealing with these guardians. Just open the chest and alien gun. And of course, my inventory was full, so that was real fun to deal with these these bastards just sitting out and out of the range of the accuracy of my assault rifle. So I had to drop something. So I think I dropped like crappy. Uh, shotgun worth like 2,000 and pick it up and run like hell. And I think I actually equip it and did not realize it was a shotgun <laughs> until I fired it once, I think. But yeah, alien weapons are pretty awesome except for that one that you get from the fight <laughs> and you can kill yourself with it like I did. And yeah, my inventory kind of is cluttered, but, um, you know, it's a, it's an organized clutter, if that makes no sense. So here we go, it's 148 times 8, and here's me just firing it for no apparent reason, trying to figure out, figure out what it is, and now it's time to go. Because now I'm just thinking that it's a crappy gun, and I think I end up like switching it off and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, just going to continue on our main path. And, yeah, these art guardians are kind of a pain, and what the hell was he doing there? Was he, like, giving me the teabag or something? Hope not. Anywho... So here we're dealing with these Sarah Guardians, which I don't know what they're attacking me with, and I really hope it isn't what I think it is. And you can you can think for yourself on what I think it is, so you know. I didn't say anything. But a funny thing was I have a ten a plus ten ammo regeneration class mod for my soldier, which is what I am, by the way somebody actually asked to comment I mean just to look in the left hand corner I'm a soldier um, and here's what's the fucker face talking to me but there's there's no time limit by the way for this whole quest it's 
it's a it's an inferred rush it's it's a false rush it's not like you're gonna fail the quest if you take too long which you know there are tons of those in games so you know just deal with it so here we're gonna have a bunch of guardians before we can actually go into the vault um, you know what how are so they're gonna increase playtime speaking of increasing playtime uh, second playthrough is the exact same game but enemies are higher leveled wonderful but yep just you know keep doing the same strategy whatever you have decided to use as your strategy mine is my awesome legendary r rifle that I have had for probably um, probably the entire guide I would I would guess but yep we are finishing up here and you know just hate these guys these defenders with the shields they're just so effing annoying one annoying thing about this though is right before you go into the final boss fight you cannot there's no health uh, booths I think I'm gonna check if there are there might have been I don't think there are though let's wait till I finish out finish clearing out all the enemies uh, I thought there might have been one right there but there is not any health booths or vendors or anything like that so you're going into the final boss fight with whatever health and shields you have so I, you know there was me just thinking the shotgun sucked but you know it pr did a pretty good job on a badass guardian which this thing was annoying the crap out of me. So he got the shotgun to the face. And I have no idea what he just dropped there. Hope that wasn't a, an alien gun. I'm going to be very angry. I'll probably check. I better. If I don't, I'm going to I'm going to worry about this and it's always going to make me wonder what would have happened if I had checked and no I did not check that might have been an alien I doubt it was but uh, anyway here we are going to the final boss see you guys next video